Hey, what is up everyone? Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out some more Diablo 2 Resurrected Alpha. I've been playing through a number of iconic and some of my favorite builds over the last couple of months. And uh, what I want to do here is go back and play through some of those earlier builds that I did not go through Player 8 on. Um, at the point I transitioned and started doing both difficulties. So what I want to do is load up some of these builds and play through Endarial at Player 8 difficulty and see how fast they go, kind of get a baseline going. If you enjoy these videos, feel free to like and subscribe, and thank you again for watching. Okay, so I'm going to be checking out a Tesladin build. I went through this once before, but I have made a few modifications. The gear is essentially the same, though. You need uh, both pieces of the Dream set for the uh, Holy Shock Aura, High Lords, Enigma. Some of this is changeable. And the changeover I've got uh, here for battle orders. I have changed the skill distribution though. So you need points into the synergies for Holy Shock. You don't actually need to put anything in Holy Shock though. It doesn't stack with the items is, is how I understand it. I have put additional points into Confiction so you hit that 150% break point. From there, I maxed Holy Shield, Sacrifice, and then in your winning points in Zeal. You could actually probably take fewer into Holy Shield and max Zeal. It's kind of a judgment call. Generally, you want to do Sacrifice for Zeal because Sacrifice actually gives you more damage than points into Zeal. And I put one here just for the uh, extra defense on Holy Shield. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Bump up the difficulty, and we're going to do an Endarial run. Fiction and Zeal. We're going to see how well this does. And of course, Lightning Immunes almost immediately. Pretty effective. I mean, in player one, the aura was doing enough to, to kill guys in a lot of cases. But uh, the zeal is still like ripping through these guys like tissue paper. So that's pretty awesome. I wasn't sure if it was gonna, the damage was gonna scale enough, but it's doing like 8,000 damage. If I took some points out of that holy shield, which, you know what, I didn't even... Yeah. Here is my... Here is my... If I took points out of my uh, holy shield, I probably could have pumped up that damage a little bit, though it's really just physical damage, but that would have made it a little bit easier to deal with the uh, lightning immune. The conviction will break those immunities, though. So. They can still have some resistance even after you break that immunity. But with negative 150, I think I got it pretty much covered. And Zeal is a little bit um, finicky at times. It's got some of the same bugs, like uh, a lot of the auto attacking skills, like Fury has, where if you're not in the exact right spot, Sometimes it just doesn't connect. Um, sometimes you bug out. Like if you miss your first attack, you might have missed all your attacks. It's a lot of like desyncing issues. I've, while I love these skills, they're also kind of frustrating at times. But uh, I've, I've done this with a couple of characters going back through and playing through player 8 when I didn't before and 
See, this is one of the most effective ones at the moment. At least for this area. See how fast Endario goes down. Yeah, those are lightning immune. That conviction just rips it right away. That aura is still doing enough damage to actually kill guys even in player 8. That's pretty impressive. Guy is physical immune. And this is another problem when you have lots of enemies, it's kind of hard to focus on a particular one. Zeo wants to kind of hit everything around you. But with the Conviction, their defense is so low, I should be able to hit them pretty consistently. Yeah, so that is uh, Andariel on a Tesla Din in player 8. Pretty easy. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed at how well this build held up. So I will continue playing through with different characters. Whoa, the lighting's bugging out a little bit. That was weird. Um, check them out. If you like them, think about subscribing. I would appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night.